How's it going guys? I'm back again with another video over at WGU. Uh, this course is actually Linux Foundation C851. My background on Linux is not very, um, what's the word, up there. I don't have a Linux box. I don't use it daily like some people do. I just know about it. I just know simple commands because, you know, CMD and terminal kind of link together on similar commands. But I'm going to show you what I did to pass it. Uh, I did not use a VM for this at all. So I didn't, I didn't have a device or a system to pit a VM up at the time and run, you know, Ubuntu, CentOS, Debian, uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. I didn't have any of that at my hands. So I want to show y'all what I used if you don't have access to that or if you just want to see what I used to pass. So to start off with, for use certified, I did not use use certified at all. The only thing I used was the quizzes and that was to basically tell my course instructor, hey, I know the material that y'all are questioning me on. So go ahead and enable me to take my certification test. So you can see right here, I stopped after chapter one. I did not read any other chapter. It just did not make sense to me, reading it and taking the quiz. I just couldn't match them up together. So when I had this hump, what I did was I looked on Reddit and see um, what I can find out there to help me out. And the first resource that people started reckon, recommending to me was, hey, look up, go to U Udemy, which I mentioned in my previous video, and, you know, search LPI. And actually, the guy that helped me on my ITIL, he has a course for the um, LPI exam. And you can see right here, here LPI Linux Essentials 0110 or 010-160. So I use this mainly, um, it took me about a month to go actually through these videos and made sure I had a pretty good understanding of the command and the Linux infrastructure. It's only 7.5 hours of video, but I made sure that I went over those 7.5 hours of video over and over and over again till I knew um, I had the material in my head. And also this course actually comes with two practice practice exams, which you can take as 40 questions and 39 questions, which is the exact number of questions on the exam. So after I got that, I had a pretty good understanding of the Linux infrastructure. Uh, I did not want to take my exam at that point because I just didn't feel confident still. So I looked up the videos on New Certified and they actually use a guy that is on CBT Nuggets. So if you go to cbtnuggets.com, uh, let me go to the home screen really quick. I got to log out actually. There we go. The pricing is not very uh, user friendly, $59 a month but they offer a week subscription for free. So sign up through here, use your real information or go buy a $1 gift card, pay your information in here, validates that your card is active. It doesn't charge you until your first week is over, but to get around that, just go to your profile after you sign up and cl click cancel subscription. After that, they won't charge you at all. I have done that twice so far. So once you sign up, you will be greeted with tons of courses you can do. Um, I choose the LPI 010-150 because it is a retired certificate or retired exam and they don't have the 160 up yet, but it covers the same material that is in the 160 minus the cloud, which, you know, the Udemy, that covers the cloud portion for you. So it kind of works hand in hand. I Actually, after I finished U uh, uh, Udemy, I went back to U Certified, took my quizzes, got approval to take my exam. I scheduled that a week out so I can go to CBT Nuggets 
watch the videos, which is 7.5 hours as well, just a different teacher with different uh, teaching styles. And spent that whole week watching CBT Nuggets uh, LPI 010-150. So went out to my exam place today, which is a couple, about 40 miles away. And I'm gonna actually post a picture of my exam results. And you can see right here that I made a 690, 690, and the passing score was 500. So I exceeded the passing score. I almost made a perfect score um, if I just didn't miss a couple of silly questions that I messed up on. So open source information 100%, 77, 88, 87, 85. And going into this, uh, this course, I did not know anything about Linux. So hopefully this helps you out. I do have a study guide that was provided to me that I would be happy to provide if y'all comment and say, hey, we would like the study guide. I will definitely post the link to it and y'all can download it. Uh, it's about 47 pages, 37 pages, my bad. And it has commands that you need to know. Um, uh, basically different types of open source. There's two different types, you know open freedom information or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head in doing this video, but there's two types of um, open source initiatives that you need to know about and so forth. So just comment. I will be happy to provide it to you and hopefully this helps you out. Thank you all.